Hello, this is SJ Talks in Life coming back at you with another video. Um, black, all money is not good money. People that want to make money off of black women, off of YouTube, they want to make money off of black women. They want to bash black women. Um, now, first of all, black people shouldn't be bashing each other. Black women shouldn't be bashing black men. Black <coughs> Black men shouldn't be bashing black women, but it's it's problematic when when your whole content is centered around bashing black women and you making money off of it. Not only that, but I'm just tired of people making black money off of black women. Period. Um, this is this channel. Um. His name is Cohen Nat Nanwick, but he he has another channel. Um, I can't remember the name of it. He has another channel, and he fetishizes black women. He loves fetishizing black women on his channel. And I made some comments in his comment section that, and he wasn't too happy about the comments. But you know, I keep it one hundred with people, and um and I let him know that you know black women are more than just bodies because every time he do a video. And he might have some videos here and there of where he's talking about other other things about black women, but most of his content he is is to me it's like he's fetishizing black women, always talking about black women sexually, always talking about our looks and all that. We're more than just a body, black women. We're more than just a body. We're more than just our looks, our skin tone. We have a heart, we have a soul, we have a mind. We are human beings at the end of the day. Okay, so uh, I'm, I'm not in particularly impressed by this black, this fetishization of black women. Are we always wanting to fetishize us all the time and always want to talk? Because at first, when, I, I, when he had the other channel, because he got a second channel, but when he had the first channel, um, I was real flattered at first, you know, I got on, went on this content and um, I was real flattered at first. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, I was just like any other black woman. I was really, really flattered. But then I, I started looking down on his content and I noticed that how he's, oh, how black women looking at some of his titles, <laughs> how black women are in the bed and all this type of stuff. And it's just not a good look. It's not a good look coming from a white man to be sitting up there always talking about a black woman in a bed and a black woman's body and all this stuff. It's just not a good look, okay? Because it's coming off. It's giving fetishization. That's what it's giving. <laughs> so I tend to get a little ugly because as a black woman... I, you know, and he came for me in my comment section on one of my videos um, because he didn't like some of the stuff that I said. And at the end of the day, I don't care because, it, you know, you I must have touched a chord because you know what I'm saying is right. OK, he might do a few videos here and there of talking about other qualities of black women, but a lot of his videos he likes to fetishize black women. And like I said, I have an issue with that. You know, I I don't have a problem with white men being attracted to black women. That's wonderful. If you're attracted to black women, that's wonderful. Wonderful. We're beautiful. We're beautiful women. You should be attracted to us, okay? We're beautiful. But I do have a problem with um <coughs> because of the history in this country between black and white people, but <coughs> the, the the black and slavery, the white men um just used the black women to have relations took advantage of the black women sexually and, and had relations with them back in slavery. We all know what happened. The terrible history in this country and, and, and the stereotypes, a lot of the stereotypes and stuff that, that, um, that, that they had about black women and everything like that. Um, it, 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 it's, it's, I, I, it's problematic. It's problematic when, a white man comes on here and wanna constantly talk about a black woman's body and sexually and and stuff like that. To me, it's problematic. Now he's from he's not even from the states. He's from um, the Netherlands. I think he's out of the Netherlands, but he has to know and he has to be fully aware of the history um, that 
it, I don't I don't care where you're from. I don't care because there's racism all over the world. I don't care where you're from. <laughs> I don't I don't like it. I don't like people using black women for money, for 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 monetary reasons. You know? You you know, and, and like I said, I don't have a problem with a white man admiring our beauty. And, and I don't even have a problem with a white man um, preferring black women. But I do have a problem with fetidization. Okay, when you're always talking about uh, our aesthetics all the time and sexually. But what about what's on the inside? Black women have a heart. We have a soul. We have a mind. <laughs> we got red blood, red blood running through our veins just like everybody else we're human beings and at the end of the day that's what we are I i've said it many times on here my race does not define me i've said it many times i am not defined by my race i'm a woman that just happens to be black and so because i have that mindset and that's my mentality which should be all black women's mentality, but I can't speak for all black women. I can only speak for myself. I, I am not my race. Okay. I am, I am a human being and I go through stuff wherever, just like everybody else. Life happens for us. just like it happens for everybody else. Okay. And <laughs> we go through things just like everybody else. We got the same feelings and emotions just like everybody else. Because guess what? We're human beings. And we're women at the end of the day. And it don't make no difference whether you whether you white or Asian or whatever. Uh, at the end of the day, we women. And we go through the same things as other women do. Okay? We, we're, we're, we're not like when I get on menopause blogs, when the women are talking about menopause, we, you got women on, on there of all races. Because guess what? We all experience menopause. Okay. No matter what race. Okay. So um, I, I just, I have an issue with being, with black women being fetishized and people are using it for content. Okay. I'm not talking about black, black, white men that, that, that generally uh, have a vested interest in black women. Like Roll One Eighty Nine is is a, a a white man content creator. He's married to a black woman. He's a whole lot different. He talks about he he talks about black women's inner qualities, but he also talks about um he also talks about the issues that affect black women. Okay, so that's what makes his channel different than this other guy, where he's always constantly he might sprinkle a. A, a different type of a, a content talking about black women here and there, but most of his content is fetishization where he's fetishizing black women and stuff. And that's what I have a problem with. You know, you, you're exploiting black women for money. You're exploiting black women for profit. I got a problem with that. I'm getting tired of pe people making money off of the exploitation of black women. And these other, these, these bitter black men that come on here and because they been hurt by, they, they have a bad relationship with their mama or they've been hurt by one too many black, it don't take that many black women. Maybe it takes my, maybe one or two or they can't get the black women. They're pissed off because they can't get the black women that they want. Or they just upset or just by being a black man in a black community. They have some childhood traumas that they experienced at the hands of their mother. They blame their mama for their father not being around. Whatever the situation is, they have a hatred and a bit bitter bitterness and vitriol towards black women. <coughs> so they want to come on here. And consistently tailor their whole content around bashing the bashing and humiliation and the 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 degrading the degrading of black women and they're making money off of it. And of course YouTube allows it. 
They shut they they shut Cynthia G down. But they let these men stay on here. Make it make sense. And they're constantly bashing and degrading black women and they're making money off of it. This one even bragged about making $4,000 a month off of bashing black women. That's not a flex. That is not a flex. You, you, you bragging about bashing black women is not a flex. It's not a flex. Instead of coming on YouTube talking about how black men can build, what, what are some of the things that black men can do to build? Maybe forming mentorships with the young black males in the community. Talk about topics of how black men can be better, how they can be better men, how they can move better in the black community so they can, can compete, actually compete with other races of men instead of always competing against your own women and always want to actually come on here and make money off of bashing your own and degrading your own women. Black men are the only race of men that do that. That's one thing I respect. I have the utmost respect for other races of men. Now, they might have a beef with certain women in their racial group, but nine times out of ten, they are not going to bring it to YouTube. You, I do not see black, white men. And I don't want to hear, oh, well, there's one. No, 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 no. As a collective, I do not see white men as a collective coming here on this platform, on this app, and consistently bashing white women, bashing their own race of men, women, and, 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 and sticking their chests out like it's a badge of honor to make money and profit off of degrading and humiliating their own race of women and running down their own race of women. I don't see Asian guys on here doing that. I don't see Hispanic men coming on here doing that. The only race of men that I see doing that is black men. Black men. And then and it's and it's always black women. It's it's not I, I might have a little bit more respect for you if you had an issue with all women and you talked about all women on here, women in general. But you target black women. All that tells me is that you got some trauma. You got a lot of trauma. You had a bad relationship with your mama. You had a, a real a, a black woman that you really loved broke your heart. Because all it takes is one or two. You 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 butt hurt because you couldn't get the black women that you wanted. The black woman that you wanted and desired rejected you. I've I've actually heard some black men actually say that. Well, black and back when I was in, I'm dating white women now, and I don't like black women because back in high school, junior high and high school, <coughs> black women rejected me. So now that's why I'm dating black. Or white women. I've actually heard black men actually say that. Are you serious? I, 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 I black males dogged me out in junior high, uh, not high school, but they dogged me out in junior high. But I still, both of the fathers of my children are black men. I still prefer a black man over any other race of men. Okay. But they use that as an excuse. And a lot of black women feel the same way. Okay, they might have gotten dogged by black men, but they still prefer black men. But they use that as an excuse to date outside the race. They use it as an excuse to bash black women. They use it as an excuse to humiliate and degrade black women. They blame, they like that. And then you got some that like to blame the black woman for everything t bad and terrible that's happening in the black community. First of all, the black man is supposed to be the head of the black community. But they blame 
black women for everything. That the terrible black single mothers <laughs> uh, for everything bad that happens in the black community. You know, they they mad at their own mama. They had a toxic relationship with their mama. And so now they blame that was Tommy Sotomayor's problem. He talked about his mama when he used to be on YouTube before they kicked him off for good. <coughs> he talked about his mother many times. And he had a toxic relationship with his mama. And that was part of the reason why he was coming on YouTube bashing black women day in and day out. So most of these black men that come on YouTube that, that do that, there's a psychological reason why they're doing that. It's coming from a place of bitterness. It's coming from a place of hurt. Instead of praying and asking God to heal their heart, they want to come on here and make money off of bashing black women. All money ain't good money. If I never make a dime, people want to make fun of me not being monetized. So at this point, I'm holding it up. Okay, I'm not blaming YouTube. At this point, I'm holding up the monetization. At some point, I will be monetized. But you know what? I, I don't. If I don't never make a dime off of here, which technically legal, I've already made money off of here when when before they changed the monetization rules, at some point, yeah, I will be monetized. But one thing I am not gonna do is make money off of bashing humiliating my own people and running down my own people. Am I going to speak the truth? Absolutely. Because I'm, I'm very passionate about the black community. But one thing you are not going to see me do is come on here and downgrade and humiliate and bash my people in order to make money. I am not going to do that. I am not going to do that. You can talk about me not being monetized all you want. You can talk about me, whatever. I, YouTube is my hobby. YouTube doesn't pay my bills. I don't rely on YouTube to pay my bills like some of you people on here, okay? YouTube is a hobby for me, okay? But I, I, I all money, I do, I understand that all money is not good money. And I'm not going to be coming on here. I refuse to come on here. And, and, I, and that's anybody across the board. I refuse to come on here and bash and humiliate anybody. No matter who they are or no matter what race they are. For money, to make money on here. Because all money is not good money. And if I got to make money that way then I don't want it. I don't want to make money like that. And the fact that these men are coming on here and they're consistently bashing black women and they get the, got the chest stuck out, proud that they're making money off of bashing black women, that speaks volumes about their character. It speaks volumes about what's going on inside. They're coming from a place of bitterness. They're coming from a place of hurt. They're coming from a place of trauma. Instead of asking God to work with them and deal and heal their heart, going to a licensed therapist to work out these traumas, they want to come on here and dump on black women. And to me, that's trash. That's trash to me. And, our, and the black men are the only race of men that do it. They're the only race of men that do it. No other race. You don't see no other races of men coming on here, bashing and humiliating their own women for profit. They're out here building. They're out here doing other things. And the, the black men that claim to love us don't call these men out, uh, except for controversial Shannon and public offender. And I love those brothers. I love them dearly because they have the courage to come on here and call these jokers out for doing that. But a lot of these other black men, they want to be complacent. And you do have a lot of other black male content creators on here. They might not be on the black woman bashing con uh, train, but <laughs> they're not they're not calling the brothers out for it. They're not calling these men out about it. And that's problematic as well. You know, I, I do not like it. And 
I want to right quick address the sisters. There are, a, there are, I call them red pill. <laughs> I call them the red pill women. And that's what I call them. There are a sector, a black female sector of YouTubers on here that like to come on here and bash black women. Now, I don't know what their problem is. They, they might have had a bad relationship with, with their mother, a toxic relationship with their black mother. <coughs> Some black women got beef with other black women. They claim that I get along great with my sisters. I don't have, I usually don't have no problems with my sisters. Nine times out of 10, I, I typically don't have any. I love my black sisters. I typically never have any problems with my black sisters. Um, but some black women say that they always have problems with black women, other black women. That's not my experience. When I have problems with females, they're typically white females. I don't know why white females have an issue with me, but usually when I have an issue, particularly when it was in the workplace, it was always a white female, white female, most majority of the time. Okay, it was no other different demographic. It was always, always white women. And I'm not saying all of them, but I'm just telling you that's been my experience. I don't know what, what is it with white women, but that's been my experience. But my sisters, for the I'm telling you, for the most part, I get along great with my black sisters. I typically don't have a problem with my black sisters. When the black women be saying that they be falling out with other black women, I cannot relate. That's not my experience. It's really literally not my experience. Okay. So these women, these red pill black women that like to come on here and, and, and consistently bash and humiliate downgrade black women, they're doing the same thing that the men are doing. The black men are doing that do that. They got a bad, they must have had a bad relationship with their mama, toxic relationship with their black mother, and they've had a lot of bad experiences with black women. You know, for them to want to come on here and consist in, and, and they making money too. Once again, it's coming from a place of trauma. They're operating from a place of trauma. Okay. Yeah, you had a a, a a a toxic relationship with your mama. You had a lot of issues with black other black women. Go to a therapist and fix it. Okay? Pray and ask God to heal your heart. Fix it instead of bringing it to you too. Because it's not a good look for our people. It's really a bad look for our people. And for black women, same for black women that's consistently coming on here bashing black men. It's coming from a place of trauma. We need to stop making money off of our people. We need to stop this. Because it's not a good look for our people. And it, and it, and it, it screams that we're divided to other races. It screams that we're divided to other races. It screams we have no love amongst each other to other races. It screams that we have no loyalty to each other to other races. And we're already at a huge disadvantage in the, in the black community. And it's a bad look. It's a terrible look. And it's not a flex. You making money off of downgrading and running down your own people is not a flex. It is not a flex. On either side, it's not a flex. Do we need to address certain issues that's going on in the black community? Absolutely. Do we need to speak the truth and not sugarcoat? Absolutely. But to consistently come on here and degrade and, 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 and bash and put down your own race of people and run down your own race of people and you get a check at the 21st of a YouTube check at the 21st of every month. Yeah, I know when y'all get y'all a little check. I know when y'all get y'all a little YouTube check. You get that, that little YouTube check the 21st of every month. And you, and you think it's a flex? 
You think it's a flex to come on here and consistently be bashing your own people? All money ain't good money. What, what, do you, what do you think God's views are on that? How do you think God feels about that? You think God is happy about that? He's not. It's not a flex. It's not a flex. It makes us look horrible to other races of people. YouTube don't have a problem with it because they're making money off of you too. And they don't care. They only care when you come on here talking about because guess who runs YouTube? It ain't black people. They only have a problem with us coming on here talk consistently talking about they people. Because Cynthia G, that's why Cynthia G originally started out talking about white supremacy. But they was coming for her. So she changed it and she started talking about black men. Mm -hmm. She was first talking about white supremacy. But you can only, as a black content creator, you have to be very strategic with those subjects because they will shut you down. They got a problem if you come on here consistently talking about they people. They gonna have a problem with it. But you come on here constantly, consistently talking about your own people. They ain't got no problem with it, unless it's blatant he hate. If it's blatant hate speech, that's one thing. But they don't have no problem. I notice they don't have a problem with it. They don't care. Black people, we gotta do better. We gotta do better. All money is not good money. We got to stop making money off of bashing, particularly black men, because there's more of those black those channels on here. We got to stop making money off of bashing and humiliating our own people and running, our, running down our own people. We got to stop it. We got to stop this. Okay, hit that like, subscribe, and share. And I got to go until the next video. You guys be blessed.